Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, it's time to move on. And it is time for the second ever segment, uh, or I guess rendition of this segment on the podcast. It is time for Luke's thoughts. Now, if you didn't hear the first one, uh, you might be thinking, Luke, isn't the whole podcast just your thoughts? You'd be correct, but this is more Luke's fleeting thoughts. It's a segment where if I have a thought during the week, I just bang, whip out my phone, and then I say the thought, and it's kind of like my fleeting thoughts from the moment. The thoughts that come to me and then leave me immediately, and then they never make it to the podcast. So I thought, that's unfair. These thoughts need to be heard. I'm a white boy with the podcast. All right, so people need to hear what I'm thinking every hour, every minute of every day. So enjoy the second segment of Luke's Thoughts. Luke's Thoughts, oh yeah. Woohoo! I was thinking that Kevin from the Jonas Brothers is pretty lucky to be in the band. Like, I feel like Nick and Joe would would have just started a band, like, as a duo, and they were probably talking about it, being like, dude, we are pretty good looking, and I feel like we could be successful. And then Kevin would have walked in and been like, what are you guys talking about? Like, oh, we're just nothing. Oh, you guys are gonna start a band? Fuck, now I have to make Kevin in the band. You know, it's nothing against Kevin. I think good on him. He's the drummer, but he's just no Nick and Joe. You know what I mean? I like, you know, you're ugly when on the TV show they tried to make you the funny one, and then you're not even the funny one. Like, it's totally Nick. Anyway, just a thought. It's been another big week, so here's another big thought. So it's Easter Sunday today. Meg's cooking up some bacon. Just did hot cross buns. Controversial opinion. I prefer the uh, bottom of the hot cross bun. Just the bum bit as opposed to the top with the cross on it. I like the cross. Yeah, I, that's why I said it's a controversial opinion. Oh, yeah. you knew you could be Alright, Luke's thoughts. Sorry, Meg had another thought. Look what I got. That's not a thought, that's show and tell. <laughs> Meg got a kinder surprise there. Meg's show and tell. Didn't Can you do a separate segment this week called Meg show and tell? Yeah. Great. Next week. Knock, knock. Who's there? Luke. Luke who? Luke's thoughts. So I'm watching James Corden's Carpool Karaoke with BTS, that uh, Korean boy band. This is how ignorant I am. I didn't know that they spoke English. (laughs) I was shocked when I saw a BTS. I was like, oh man, James Corden must have learnt Korean or there's going to be subtitles. And um, yeah, they speak fluent English. And I've... Yeah, I'm pretty fucking ignorant. (laughs) I've never heard any of their songs before, so I'm assuming they probably sing in English as well. I just know that this band exists because of all the people on Twitter, like all their fans. I'd have never actually listened to the band. They seem like nice guys, so good on them. I'm just never ever gonna fucking listen to their music. And their music's probably good. I just would literally rather do anything else than to give them a chance. You know? (laughs) Who you gonna call? Luke's thoughts. Woohoo! Just another update. I kept watching the video a little bit more and turns out they actually don't all speak English. Only a couple of them speak it well. And um, so it turns out I was fucking spot on. So disregard the first thing. I'm not ignorant. Uh, It was a good assumption. And this is why you should make assumptions about other people. Because sometimes you might be correct. Or kind of. Oh, would you look at the time. It's time for another thought. Another update, I'm almost halfway through the video and guys, I think I'm a BTS fan now. (laughs) I've been converted, all right? I went from ignorant to not interested to now, well, maybe, you know, maybe I see the appeal, you know? Bunch of cuties. I I, I get why people are, um, what are they called? Stands. Man, I've been busy. What you been busy doing, Luke? Just thinking. So today at the supermarket, I saw quite an older looking, balding, overweight gentleman wearing a t-shirt that said, trust me, I'm a Jedi. I'll be honest, I've never had so little faith in anyone in my life. And uh, I then proceeded to watch this man walk into a sensor door, just bang it on the way through, which is impressive because even non-Jedis can open those sensor doors without touching it. But uh, this man just plowed straight into it. So um, if you see this person, uh, do not trust him. He is not a Jedi. He just shops at Kmart. That's it. Wow. And there we have it. Yet another week of some of the most highbrow and intellectual thinking you've probably heard. 
Just don't wait.